So I finally modified the McLaren 650S. A lot of people will say I've turned beauty into beast and that's exactly what I have done. I wanted the McLaren to seem a bit more aggressive, race-like and hardcore and that is why I went with the carbon fiber hood. So up next is the story from sourcing the part to a do-it-yourself install. So I wanted to give the McLaren a lot more character and that is why I went with a carbon fiber hood. I'll let you guys in on a little secret, I wasn't a big fan of the stripes, but I felt it gave the McLaren a bit more of that boyish charm, it gave it a bit more of a sense of humor and that's why I went with it, and it's very easy to install and remove. So today I'm going to share the entire story, all the way from actually sourcing the part to installing it yourself. There are three main options when it comes to buying parts for McLaren. One is McLaren Special Operations, also known as MSO, and they can provide unlimited possibilities for your car. You can dream something up, making it unique and one of a kind. So I did contact them and they came back to me with an unbelievable price tag. So crazy enough that I will have to make a video just talking about it. Number two, a retailer or a distributor. Most of these just import it directly from the source and charge a bit of a markup. I decided not to go this route because it wasn't really adding any value for me. There was no one local and I still had to go through the process of importing it. So I decided to go with option 3, was sourcing the part myself. I knew this part was actually coming from China because there was no one that actually advertised it as made in America. So I went on to Alibaba. For those of you that do not know, Alibaba has a market cap of 600 billion very close to Amazon. When it comes to sourcing parts from China, there's really three common issues. The biggest one is fitment. Oftentimes when you get parts, they're not a perfect fit. They may take modification and adjustments just to get it on there. Number two is quality. Oftentimes the QA process is not perfect. And finally, number three is communication. There's a bit of a communication barrier actually dealing with some of these reps. So the way I was able to mitigate all three was as part of the contract, I specified one. This has to be a perfect fit for the McLaren 650S 2015. Two, it has to go through a special process for QA given the value of the product. And finally, number three, it was all spelled out in very simple English in the contract. So once we agreed on the price, I made the payment, and in three days, it came. You can have it delivered directly to your door at a bit of a price, but for some reason, I wanted to go through the learning experience. So I took the bus over to customs, I obtained the shipping manifest, I cleared it, I paid the taxes, then I went to the warehouse, I called an Uber, it could barely fit in the Uber, and uh, somehow I was able to squeeze it in and bring it home. A little bit of an inconvenience when none of your friends have a practical car where you could just put it on. The next step is installing it. So since I was told it was a perfect fit, I thought I should just call over a friend and we do it together. I didn't feel the need to have the car towed over to a shop to have it professionally done or calling professionals over to just unbolt four screws for me. So we decided to give it a shot. It was very easy, there's only four bolts which hold the hood down. The hardest part is actually being very careful not to scratch the McLaren, because we know how expensive it is to do a repair. So we took out the hood, we positioned it just right, it took a bit of finessing to get it into the right position, we then fastened it, and then we had to replace the latches from the old hood onto the new, and the job was done. So that is the entire story. Believe it or not, the hardest part was actually having to cover the car up and wait for three months before I got the chance to take the car out. It's still not really the start of the season. It's five degrees, so I have to really be careful with the throttle, but I just love the way the car looks. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate. Oh, it adds drag, it adds weight, it's not functional, it doesn't do anything for performance, but I wasn't going for that. I just wanted to make the McLaren seem a bit more aggressive, a bit more beast-like. And a lot of people think that the only modification you can do to a car is performance, but one, it voids the warranty on this car, 
And so for me, personally, with my skill level, 640 horsepower is more than I need. I know the people that are gonna hate on me are professional race car drivers and need every single horsepower, but not me. I drive to enjoy. Thanks for watching, until next time. Ah!